this, what is today? Today's Friday. Friday, May, May 1st. May 1st. May Uno. I had Katie call this property. I am bidding on a 10 by 20 right now. Uh, because let's be honest, there has not been any units in weeks that were not like manager specials or private sellers. And you know, I just don't, I don't play with those. This is in fact a lean unit. I am winning it currently at $820. There is an hour. So tonight we're going to have a storage unit video. If this thing doesn't get canceled, I am winning this freaking thing. Um, I say that and watch some guys going to pay $3,000 and I'm not doing that. Look at all of those stinking tubs, y'all. There's some art, uh, lots of tubs, older mattresses, which I do like. Let's go over here. So look, there's Scarface, right? I'm saying this is probably like a, a middle of the road income household, uh, maybe a little bit lower. <clears throat> but every time I find Scarface stuff, like collectibles tend to follow. Like, so we'll see if I'm right on that or if that, not if I'm right or wrong, just if that trend follows. So obviously it looks like they had kids. Uh, there I'm telling you there's probably collectibles check it out guys this could this is gonna be if there's that much unboxing man we'll have a good four or five uh, three four or five good unboxing videos of fresh new storage unit content hopefully this is a sign of the future coming back quickly Alright guys, just a quick check-in. We are at 59 minutes left and I am currently the high bidder at $820. 20 more minutes has gone by and we are still winning it at 820. 820. Update, yes, we just got in the truck because that's how confident I am. I am going to do what it takes to win this unless it gets canceled. So. Anyway, we've already talked to the manager. I would assume that they have no plans on canceling this unless the owner walks in now. So 8.20, 11 minutes to go, we're winning. All right guys, so a little over four minutes and they just outbid me. I had a high bid at 8.60 and I have been outbid. So we're gonna scroll on down here and I'm gonna go ahead and, actually I'm not gonna do all that. We're gonna go 9.10. Sorry, I know it's shaking. I'm driving. It's like Justin, you could have done a screen recording. Oh no, they're at 920. So that means they've probably already gone up to a uh, thousand. So I'm gonna go 960. Boom. I'm already driving out here, y'all. Like I'm committed as crap. I hope this person is as committed as I am. So I was right. They had a bid of 950. Hopefully their total budget is a thousand and like, man, I don't want to go any higher than that because with buyer's premium right now, they're already over. So uh, anyway, let's see what happens. All right, guys. So I got outbid again. I'm letting the thing wind down a little bit. 970. Uh, we are at $980. I'm going to put in next. The clock should go up a few minutes. All right, we're under two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put my bid in. And let's see, let's confirm. Boom, 980, he's at 99. So I bet you if I put 1,020, but look, I upped the clock. So I'm gonna let that wind down a little bit, and then I'm gonna go 1,000, and I'm gonna let the clock go up a little bit more, and then I'm gonna go real slow, and if that don't work, I'm just gonna go all in. I'm, in, I, I'm not gonna tell you what that is right now. Quick update, guys. Uh, we are at $1,010 so far for this fantastically average unit. Um, and I am outbid. We have three minutes left to go. I'm gonna let that wind down a little bit go and I'm not sure what my next number will be. I gotta thank people. All right, guys, I, I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna come back on me or lady, whoever it is, but I am now winning at $1,110. Three minutes left. I'm winning. Oh wait, I'm winning. All right, let's wait and see what he does. Alright guys, we're still at 11.10, 48 seconds left. Woo, man, I'm getting nervous. 25 seconds, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, 12 seconds. Y'all, this, like, it doesn't matter how many units you buy, man. It's always an adrenaline rush. 
that's for every auction. Please don't bid. Please don't bid. Please don't bid. Please. Expired. Final high bid. $1,110. And it says, hey, you won this one. Congratulations. We just won our first post Rona wave one for $1,110. All right, guys, y'all know we like to call the facility right after, like I taught y'all, to let them know that we're coming to bed. In an auction on storage treasures at your facility, I wanted to let you know that I'd be there in about 30 minutes to pick that up, or to come pay for that. All right. All right, great, we'll see you then. Alright guys, so you heard it correctly. We just won our first post wave one Rona or backwards, however you want to put that. We just won our first unit. 10 by 20. Like I said, we called ahead of time and I had Katie ask the manager if it was a lean unit, untouched lean unit, because I'm just skeptical right now. Uh, but anyway, it looked legit to me. So check it out, y'all. 10 by 20. We just won it for eleven hundred and ten dollars. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so we just paid for the unit. We are official parents of a 10 by 20. So check it out. We found out what information we could on the unit. The guy's watching me right now, so I'm trying not to uh, hold the phone up too high. But check it out. So the guy on this unit is, was 200 something plus days behind. So he was just paying enough every month to stop the auction and then he'd get behind and he, I guess they finally just had to auction it. So this has been here for Golly, almost a year, y'all, that has been delinquent. So let's go see what we got. All right, guys, so we just popped the door. I'm not going to mess with anything right now because that looks like a 10 by 15 to me. And we were bidding on a 10 by 20. And I've got some other reasons why, too, now that I think I want to go up there and ask questions before we start doing stuff. So, anyway, Gina is pulling up the... It's pulling it up. Let's just check. Yeah, it says right here. Yeah, look. 20. It's a 10 by 20 lean unit. Uh, he told me the last name of the person inside, and I just looked in the mail in here, and it doesn't match anywhere near it. And he told me it was a guy, but there's, like, mostly female stuff. And so, and then he was just telling me there's going to be three more 10 by 20s that were manager units. I think he started talking too much. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if they're doing shady business here, but you know what I do with shady business. So anyway, I'm going to go up here. I don't know if I want to just keep it. You'll be like, well, Justin, it's only five feet. Well, five feet's a lot. A 10 by 20, I'll usually spend a thousand bucks on if it's full. This was full, but it's a 10 by 15. So, because what I take into consideration is that I possibly have another five feet of boxes. So, anyway, they clearly made a mistake here, I think. I mean, I've, I've been in a lot of units that doesn't look like a 10 by 20 to me. So, we're, let's go see if he gives us our money back. Or, let me just figure out. Let me just ask some questions. Let's see where we go from here. I might keep it. I don't know. Hey, what size unit is that? Double check, because y'all saw what, not you, I'm not saying y'all, I know you probably didn't do it, but I got sold a 10 by 20 on here, and I know five feet don't seem like a lot, but it is what it's. I believe David Massey, let me double check. Yeah, 10 by 15, and it says 10 by 20 on there? Yeah, it says 10 by 20. But I, I can look at it, I mean, I'm telling you, I do this for, yeah, it's, for a living. Um, man, I apologize about that. Is there anything I do for you? Yeah, I want my money back. Your money back? That's five feet, baby. That's that's a lot of money. Right. But on still, even though it's a 10 by 15 on site, on search editor's thing, it's a 10 by 20. And that's his problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to look at So, um, to get your money back for that, you have to talk to the storage treasures. Uh, there's no way in the system it's going to let me. I haven't talked to my district manager about it. Y'all, I, I understand. So, what you're telling me right now is y'all advertised something that was something it wasn't, and I bid accordingly. And, and that's it. 
So, because I, I know I've been down this road before, and I know what storage treasure is going to sell me. I know it's just five feet, but another five feet of boxes means a lot in this industry. And, and I understand that, uh, but it was a clerical error, and I'm being told to talk to storage treasures about that. Okay. Yeah, I got mine has got that same error. Yeah. yeah. I got a two by twenty on here that says it's two by fifteen in the room. Yeah. So it's the same error on my sheet. Yeah. So this is the problem with you, sir, because you already moved everything out of the unit. No, I didn't move anything out of the unit. This is a new unit that I bought today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It says 2 by 20 on the sheet, and it's 10 by 15 here. The one you just bought? I just bought it, yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. So it just seems to be and there was an error on it on Wednesday. There was another one that had 2 by 20 yeah. on it, and it was only a 10 by 5. So this is happening a lot. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. going across the board. Um, I'm going to have to talk to the guy that's setting up, but I'm being told for you to talk to the storage treasures. And, yeah. Um, I do this for a living. Would you like to work out some type of deal? Maybe? There's, I, I mean, I don't like you're. Here's what you're doing. You're selling me. Uh, you're uh, you're underselling me, or you're over right. advertising, and then you're asking me to negotiate a deal on something I didn't do anything wrong on. That makes sense. Right. I can't. Yes. I'm. You know, I don't want it. Here's know. the deal, though. Them, the district manager saying I'm willing to negotiate means he's willing to do something, right? Right. So it, which means. He could give us a full refund, but he's not going to. He wants to negotiate because of y'all's clerical error. And again, I've got to send trucks all the way. Five feet of boxes means a lot. So if I leave a review, I'm telling you right now, this this will this would have been a really good thing. But this is I don't I don't like doing this too. I don't like leaving bad reviews. But this. But here's the deal. If I don't clean that unit out or something, all hell will break loose right on my deposit. Can't bid again. But y'all do something wrong. Not saying y'all, I'm just saying in a hole. Right. right? If if y'all do something, it's it's almost damn near impossible to get y'all to, to any movement on that end. So, all right. Well, let me know. Talk to your to your manager. Tell your uh, number right here. So yeah. I think that's my my number. You you want Justin's number? No, you can just they can call it. Okay. That's fine. Just uh, try to let me know because if I can get a refund, I'll come back out here, which really sucks. Uh, it's but, an hour drive for us, so it's a big but deal y'all for us to come back out here. For advertising it for ten bucks. Yeah, it's not a clerical error, so Okay. Uh all right. Sorry about that. All right, guys, so y'all heard it. They undersold us, and not only that, the guy right behind me had just got sold the 10 by 15 for a 10 by 20. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Man, I'm ticked off. Y'all, I don't look for this stuff. My adrenaline's pumping so hard yeah. right now. And it's just not because I'm angry. It's because, like, look, y'all sold me a 10 by 15. The guy that just came in said the same thing. They sold me a 10 by 15 for, 10, for a 10 by 20. So this seems to be a problem, but yet they don't want to refund me the money that I can literally see. Like, I can see the money. Like, you don't want to refund it? So, anyway, I'm going to go pop a lock on it. I honestly want to refund because that does. that. I, I factor all that in. And I, I'll be honest, like, just his story. And he just told me and Gina's story when we were first in there about that he was looking in the, the unit that they're... Uh, um, the manager's unit. He was digging through the manager's yeah, unit. Yeah, he, he was like, well, you know, there might still be some cool stuff left in it. All right, guys. So look, I, I don't look for these things, but here's the deal. It's just right and wrong. And what, you know, the whole thing that me and Rob did before on the scammer, this is another issue. Story that he told us about digging around in the units that are coming up. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to watch those three units at this specific property. And I'm going to see if they sell them as lean units because I already have them on film telling me he dug through all of those mm. units. So let's just wait a week and let's see. Actually, I think the units might be up. I'll go search their facility. Um, and we'll see if they're selling them as lean units. So, hey, I'm going to pop this door open real quick and just kind of show you what we bid on so you can see something. But I'm going to wait to, I'm not going to unbox anything until we resolve this issue. All right, guys, so I got my lock. I'm going to pop this on here. Today is Friday, so I'm going to send the team out here Monday morning. They open at 9 o'clock, I think he says. Cut yeah. your hand over that just in case the wind. The wind's real bad, guys. So I'm not, look, I wasn't going to send the team out here anyway, so I'm going to give it just a 24-hour cooling off period. Let him talk to them. Give people the chance to do the right thing. I don't want to get too upset, but look, you sold me a 10 by 20, and he honestly, he on the other side of it, he could be like, as is, where is, you know, you should, you should, but here's the thing, you're not allowed to go in, so I can't do it, and sometimes the pictures, you just can't tell. So anyway, he agreed with me. He's like, yeah, we sold you a 10 by 15 for 
uh, advertising a 10 by 20. And so, but anyway, the story that he was telling me that he told me and Gina that he was digging around in these units. Like, why would you tell somebody, hey, yeah. there's these great units coming up that dug stuff th dug stuff out of, mm -hmm. but there's still good stuff left. Like he just told me that, that's wild. Yeah, anyway, that is wild. So, hey, I'm gonna pop the door open. I'm gonna let you see what it was. It was unit 213. I bought this on Storage Treasures as a 10 by 20. As soon as he popped the door open, I knew it wasn't a 10 by 20. I could tell it was smaller. Maybe yeah. can face this way so we can get out of the wind. Okay. So look, I, I'll tell you why I bid on it because look under here, there was tubs, tubs and tubs, but it was taken like this. So what you can't tell, right? When you're bidding on these things, you're going by footage. You're like, all right, so 10 by 15, you know, the boxes are about this size. It looks like it goes this far back and you can kind of get an idea. And that's why I was telling the guy, five feet means a lot. So anyway, look, there was this old mattress here. I saw a walker here, okay? And I saw a bunch of tubs and boxes and stuff bunch of boxes over here i did pull this one down because it, here's what i was doing i was looking at all of the boxes with the names on them and i was seeing if they match the mail and they don't in fact it's like a uh, anyway it just nothing matches so anyway i'm not saying that this unit was staged i don't i'm not saying that at all it probably was a lean unit but i'm not sure that it wasn't gone through because i'm gonna be honest i can look at tubs and tell like when lids have been popped and stuff mm -hmm. like you can tell like watch a unit watch when i first buy a clean unit and i go through it the first time just climbing over stuff popping open peeking in boxes it looks the same when anyone peeks in a box whether you do it or i do it all right so it, it all looks the same so that's how i can tell when a unit has been peeked around in. so again i'm not saying that was done here but what i'm saying is is this is a different issue i don't think this is a issue of staging a unit i think this is another issue in the industry that uh look get your stuff right sell the right size units, advertise the right size units because there's guys, I'm telling you this industry, they can look at a unit and if it's packed, you can't really tell, but we can get a good idea in five feet, right? That's 25% of the unit, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's a big deal. 25% is a big deal. So anyway, um, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm not gonna go back there, not gonna look in boxes. Uh, the couch does look clean. Um, okay, while we're heading back, let me know, not in the chit chat, down in the comments below. Do you think, hey, Justin, uh, I've got time to think about it. So you guys help me. Take the unit, don't take the unit. What do y'all think? Should it, should I go ahead and just pay it? Hey, Justin, it's only five feet. Uh, or Justin, no, that's wrong. Hey, they advertised it for this. They should sell it to you or give you a refund. Go to the back of the bidder. You let me know right now. Not in the comments or in the chit chat, but down in the comments below, let me know. All right, we're going to close this thing up. We're going to get out of here. Let's go see if we can find something.